Hi there, and welcome back to Baldur's Gate 2. I'm Baron. Yes, it shall be. Consider it done. And that here is the Druid Grove, apparently. Okay. Nature's servant awaits. We cast a few spells. What is my task? Take off the ring. Cast the haste. And what else? Defense of harmony. Okay. I am ready. It is done. <laughs> well, what have we here? Some fool come to stop the righteous force of nature? Laughable. Say what you must and then we shall purge the earth of your filth. Why are druids attacking all who enter the wood? That is not the role of the druid. Who are you to say? Only another druid should have business here. Jahira is a druid. You can do nothing. In the past I might have feared such as you, but no longer. I am stronger than ever with the aid of this grove. No harm can come to me here. Such bonding rituals are frowned upon as they draw energy from the earth itself. But the mother feeds me that I might fight for her. The rituals still govern this place. As a druid it is Jahira's right to challenge you. You will accept this challenge and we will proceed. I will not have this place remain in your care. By the Great Mother, you will not leave the duel alive. You are mistaken, of course. I revel in the combat of the rituals and I welcome the chance to end your miserable existence. Come to your death. Okay. So the bad thing is, Jehua lost all her equipment. The good thing is she still has her spells. How about we cast an insect swarm on you? Then a flame blade. Insert attack. With vengeance. Badly injured, okay. Come to your death. Oh. Okay, there goes my spell. That's bad. How about I change it to a black bear? Changed into a panther. Oh, that was good. The scourge has been purged. 
I can tell that the deed is done. For even now, the land sighs relief. This has been a great service to nature, and she shall not forget. Now to repair the land of the ritual that Feldon performed. Her invulnerability was at great cost. Her loss will cause the land to suffer immeasurably. Burton will serve as, a, as challenge master and great druid until all the healing is done. His reverence for the land will not allow him to be corrupted. When the scars are healed, things will be as they were, or very nearly. A new great druid will need to be chosen. More turmoil ahead, but for now we can rest. What of you, Hey, blow me? Are you off to travel? If ever you need help, you may find me standing amidst the beauty of nature that is our druid grove. Of course, sir. I know where to find you. I look forward to our next meeting. I stand as challenge master and all that seek ascension in the druidic order can come to me. And for you, I must formalize our thanks. For your bravery, I present you with the staff of thunder and lightning. Use it with wisdom and respect. Remember to pick up any equipment that was dropped before the challenge. Okay. So that was bad, my friends. Very close. Your hero is down to three hit points. Healer. I I don't want to change the form back. What he has healer hit points because I think he has less hit points than human. Yeah, she might have died there. Speak your mind. Who had the stuff of thunder and lightning? It's the stuff of thunder and lightning plus two. There are stories that tell of these staves sprouting in the growth around druid groves when the forest is threatened. Fanciful tales, but truth or not, this staff is a powerful tool. It draws energy from storms, and there is a chance that any blow may trigger a thunderclap that knocks enemies down. It casts lightning bolt if circumstances warrant it and can summon a lightning storm to blast enemies to dust. Some, abil some abilities are limited by charges. Okay. Nature's servant awake. I am willing. Okay, Jahira should pick up her stuff again. Okay. On my honor, I will do my best. I don't really know. Can we challenge him? I guess. Well, if the main character is a druid, you can get that Grophy as your base. I but I think Jahiria can't do anything. I go. It would be good for you to watch your actions while in this wood. There's no one who needs to challenge at this time. Yeah. Okay. Only if the main character is what a druid. What do you require? Then you can challenge them. Uh, that's all we can do yes. here? Nothing else to do? I guess not. So, time to return to trade meet. I think there was an exit bridge just around here. Yes. Very well. And we go to trade meet. Eight hours away. So, Done. first of all, we should bring the Rakshasa's head to that stupid genie here. So that they can go. As you ask. Oh, 
I sense that you possess the head of our little Itafir with you as agreed. Astounding, even for a mortal. Here then is a scimitar that you may find useful. It has been mine own for some time, but I'm sure I shall find another. Use it well, Wayfarer. As for you, my little Itafir, you have been a very naughty creature, looting us as you have. What a brave model to bring you to us. Come then, my Dao, we return to Kalimshan and fulfill our service. 10,000 XP and they teleport out. What did we get anyway? Ah, well, okay, a plus two uh, the scimitar like we already have. Like this one, where is it? We have two of that now. We have a better one here, so hmm. It shall be. Let's go back to what's his face, uh, the mayor's house. Well met and welcome. Please, my lord, may I may I speak to you? My name is Jenya, and I come to you on behalf of my son Tiris. He he is very frightened, my lord, too frightened to even leave our home. Please, you are such a hero of this town, I beg of you to come and speak to him, to see what has frightened him so and perhaps help him. I will help him if I can. Where is he? Oh, thank the gods that you are merciful. Tyrus is at our home, just the one just north of the Alibakar estate. Please come as soon as you are able to. I so despair seeing him like this. Okay. Well, first things first. Let's re no. Let's return to the mayor. And in we go. Consider it done. We are in your debt for whatever you did. I thank you, and Trade Me thanks you. Not only have the text stopped, but we have received reparations from the remaining druids. In addition, you solved our problem with the Jinn and restored prosperity to the merchants of my town, a problem I thought to be nearly insurmountable. 18,000 XP for everyone. I trust the guild mistress showed, showered, you, showered you with rewards, and if not, she should. I for one think it is high time you to give you the hero's welcome you deserve. Citizens of Trade Meet, we are gathered here today to honor the heroes of our small town. Led by the Lord Haywood Shablomi. They have not only stopped the assault of nature upon us by removing the evil druid that had taken over our local grove, but have also spared us from the recent domination of the genies. You are once again free to walk the streets of Trade Meet, and new caravans have already been hired to bring supplies to our local merchants. It is good to know that even though we do not have our beloved Joaquin looking out for us, we still have people like this who we can turn to in a time of need. From this day forth, I declare that these companions be known as the heroes of Trade Meet. Their likenesses shall be displayed on the fountain forevermore. Bravo! Here, here! You have saved us all! Oh yes, most excellent work, hero. Indeed! You will always be welcome here. Obviously, you are deserving of your glowing reputation as a true hero. May the gods smile on your journeys. Yay! Greetings to you. I'm Lady Lilith Lorexel, the head of the noble family that founded this town long, long ago. I am pleased to make your acquaintance. It is pleasing to know that there are heroes of real metal here in Trade Meet, ones with both courage and ability. As it so happens, I have need of such people. Please, if you are interested in the reward for performing such a task, do come and speak to me at my mansion. I look forward to seeing you there. Okay. I see that that vicious harpy has already pounced upon you. Ignore whatever she says. 
She is a conniving witch and a liar. I am Lord Skarmé and Ali Bakar, and it is my family that founded Trade Meat, not hers. So I greet you in the name of the town's premier family. No doubt Lady Lilith has asked you to perform a service for her. I happen to need the same service done. So I ask that you come to see me in my home so that we may discuss it further. If you are foolish and work for the Laraxols, however, you will not be welcome in my home. Think carefully on this. Oh, what the fuck? Ah, I am sorry they chose to involve you in their schemes. The Laraxols and the Alevacars are old and powerful families here, and they have been feuding for generations. Be careful in your dealings with them, that's all I can say. I have here a reward that the town merchants have gathered for you. Don't forget to go and see the statues that have been conjured in your image. They're in the center of town at the fountain. And everybody gets uh, we are wow, all 25,250 XP. And Boo and I, and gold. everywhere, rejoice! That's quite a lot of money, if I might say so. Where's the mistress? I'm not worried. I'm sure these setbacks are only temporary. Ah, you were the hero who has saved us from the druids, yes? Already things have begun to be restored to normal once again in our town, and you have helped us yet in another way, whether you knew it or not. Those Daojin you dispatched came here recently from Kalimshan in the pursuit of a Rakshasa, I am told. They decided to set up shop here and proceed to take a wall business. They bribed all the caravans to go to them only, ruining any of our other merchants. Nothing could be done, especially with these animal attacks keeping Lord Copleth busy. I myself have much to do at the moment. The caravans must be contacted and brought in immediately to give us the supplies we need. Thank you once again. And the party has gained items and 7500 gold. Okay, gems. What's that? Shield of Harmony. Immunity, Charm, Confusion, Domination and Hold Person. Wow. It's not as good as this one. But... That's very useful. The whole immunity thingy? Awesome. Yes? I approve heartily of the path that has been taken so far. The good has been upheld. What's that here? Yeah, why don't you use that instead of that hopper thingy here? What is my task? Okay, so there was a pub here, if I'm not really wrong. Where's the fountain? Oh, first let's go to the pub. Hmm? I'm so happy you brought me with you. I never imagined that we would be doing such great things. She's regenerating. Why is that? Oh, because of that, uh, yeah, two hit points every minute. Let's forget that. So, what do we have? Alenia. I await your word. I hope this is not a sign of things you to come. Welcome, we must strive to maintain balance. You are the one who performed those deeds up in the Salt Coast, yes? I thought you seemed familiar. I have heard a few wondrous tales passed from a fellow bard named Garrick. Oh, really? Lady Marana. Hi, friend. What? No, no. A ball spawn? Here? Slow down. Just who are you? No, no. Not after all this time. I won't. Ah, not again! Whoops. What was that all about? 
Well, he's gone. Is it important? Declare yourself. I was talking to that woman. Get away from me, Ali Bakar scum. I will not have your filthy hands upon me. Do not flatter yourself, Luraxal pig. If I were to touch you, it would be to throw you out, and that is all. Do not speak to me like that. I serve the most noble family in trade meat. The Luraxals are nothing more than peasants. I laugh at your ignorance, fool. Laugh at me, eh? I'll show you who is the commoner, Alik Warson. I'll test your metal with cold yeah, steel. Whatever. I don't I'll usually test your metal with cold steel. steel. I am waiting Hello. for a particular gentleman, friend. But if you are so inclined, I would be more than willing to spend the evening with such a handsome man as yourself. Yeah, they can kill each other if they want. I don't give a fuck. Alik Pagard and uh, oh, not disturb my duties. The fool. He should have known better than to take on an Ali Ali Bakar better. I spit upon his foul buddy. Too. Whatever. Did he have any nice loot? Don't touch me. Speak and be done with it. Uh, I suppose this had to happen. Now that things have been restored to normal, the feuds begin once again. Those two families have been nothing but problems in this town. I'm surprised Lord Logan doesn't order their death. I am certainly they certainly are asking for it if scenes like this continue. Attention everyone. There will be no further brawling in this area or any involved will be arrested. You all know how the Lorexos and Elibicars can be, yes? Don't get involved, I warn you. Lord Lorigan will be informed of this incident immediately. Calm down and return to your business at once. He doesn't have anything. Boo. And what's up in the kitchen? Nothing. Never had rat. No, well, if it isn't the heroes who have saved the town, well met my lord. Do come in and have a seat. You are more than welcome in Viatis Inn. What can I do for you? What can you tell me about the feud uh, between the Luraxols and the Alibakars? Ah, both of these families are fools. Rich fools. Nobody but them really cares which is the true funny family. And if Lord Logan is correct, they stem from the same family anyway. But they will never believe that. Their relations and guards have been battling for many years, sometimes to open violence. One of these days they will take it too far. I'd like to see your services, please. Oh, he doesn't have much. Fine, let's leave. This may be a bad time or not, but I think we should speak. Very well. Yes, well, I wish to apologize for our argument before. I wanted I wanted you to know why I cannot speak of the Harpers. There is much harm I could do. This is not a question of harm, it is a question of trust. And I do trust you, but I do not trust myself. Am I no traitor of that? I am no traitor, of that I am sure. But what if I, what am I if I must hide from my brethren? What am I then? If I am in the right, why must I tell their secrets? If I am in the right, why must I hide? I do not have answers for these questions, and they worry me. That you are worried shows you care about those involved. Yes, but can I? There is no middle ground. I am heading for an extreme or of either end. With you, at least the choice is mine. It is, isn't it? Well, who am I to judge? The least I can do is offer you the same as you offer me. I thank you for this. It helps. It does. You are more than welcome in my sight. Hold! Oh, there's Rivienne again. And let justice take its rightful measure. You will know this day that you have suffered Harper justice. What is this? Revian! What are you doing here? It is I, Jahira. So I can see. It pains me to do this, but a traitor's death is what you deserve. What? If this is about the attack at Harper Hold, you, would, you know I would not do such a thing if I had any alternative. They left me no choice. 
I know not of what you speak, Jahira. Explain yourself. It was Galvaray. He had me bring my companion there on the pretense of determin determining his danger, but he had no intention of letting Jehavi Jablomi leave once there. The Harpers know only that there was an attack and Galvaray is dead. The loss of such a promising person sent waves through the ranks and... Bah! He was a fool bent on advancing his own station. His intent was to use Haywood Jablomi as a trophy, hoping to gain enough influence to become a herald. This seems far-fetched, Jahir. You are well known to have hated Galvaray. And why should this man command such value? Tell her what I am if it will help your case, Jahira. I will not keep secrets that harm you. As you wish. Rivian, Havid Jablomi is of interest because he is one of the children. Galvaray wished to capitalize on the fear around the prophecies of old. This is a Baal child? And you trust him over one of our, your own? You must do as you will, Rivian. I have told you my circumstance. There is little more for me to say. Stand down your weapons, Jahir. We need not shed any blood here today. I will not draw arms against the Rivian. This has been a huge mistake and I will not be party to making another. I know you to be truthful, Jahira, and I have heard good things of Hey which blow me. I will try to sway the others, but passions run high in this matter. Oh, and we don't have to fight her. Uh, like she would, would have stand a chance against the party. So, we should go to Tira's home, is that correct? It shall be. So there's a fountain. It's supposed to be. Okay. Those statues are, s are s supposed to be the party members. Is that so? Uh. Oh, there seems to be. A no big resemblance. Who is supposed to be who? Is that supposed to be Hayward? That Ari? Or that? Or that you here? Huh? Well, I don't know. Tira's home, eh? Let's go in here. Consider it done. Good day to you. Oh, you... You are one of the heroes that, that, that everyone is talking about, aren't you? You... You stopped the druids and the genies. M maybe... Maybe you can help me. It, it sounds so terrible. I hardly know where to begin. My... My love, Raisa, and I... We were coming home two days ago, not far from here. It was late, and, and I heard a strange noise come out of the shadows. I thought perhaps it was another attack by the animals, but a large man leapt out of the darkness at me and knocked me out. I remember nothing until I woke up. When I did, I saw a man tying Raisa to a chair. He was the one who had leapt at me. I, I stirred as my head ached, and I was not immediately aware that someone else was in the room. I suppose the other must have heard me, because he approached... I, I saw him, my lord. I turned and I saw him. He was a man, or a creature that looked like a man, but he had no skin. All I saw was his, his muscles and sinew. He hissed a dreadful sound and I tried to grab, and tried to grab me. I was frightened and leapt back, barely out of his reach. The man by Rissa yelled at him to grab me and the skinless creature shouted back at him angry and I fled as quickly as I could. I heard someone running behind me, but I didn't dare look. I heard it shout behind me once. It said it would get at me, it would get me, and that it would find me, and, and when I stopped running, eventually, I didn't hear it anymore. I came here to hide, my lord. I am frightened to go out. What manner of creature could this be? What kind of magic could create a horror such as this? I don't know who to turn to. The militia, they can do nothing against such creature, I am sure, and, and I feel so ashamed. I left my Raisa behind, left her to die. 
Please, my lord, will you help me? Will you find Marisa and bring her back to me? I will try, but I need more information. Thank you, my lord. I am very grateful. If you could do whatever I if you could do whatever you can. As for more information, let me think. As for more information, let me think. The the skinless creature did say the name of a man with the knife. He shouted it when the man told the creature to grab me. He called the man Rejack. Rejack, are you sure? Yes, sure. Yes, sir, very sure. Why? Do do you know that name? The foul murder from Athgatla has made his way here? Then he must be stopped. By all that is holy, his disgusting ways cannot continue. Oh no, then you must find Raisa soon, if if he's not already killed her. Oh, I, I should have saved her when I had the chance. I should have tried. Please, the creature brought me to the woods near the southwest gate. Go there, I beg you. Find out what has become of her. Perhaps, perhaps this man and this creature yet remain there. Okay. So we should go to the woods at the southwest gate. And we will do that. But I we will do, do that in the next video. So thank you very much for watching. And see you soon. Bye.